Houston Teachers Union will be keeping a close eye on that HISD announcement. The union believes the school year should start with online learning only. And that is where we pick up our team coverage tonight. Channel 2 Sion Roads live at HISD headquarters in Sion. The union says things must change dramatically before any in-person learning can take place. And the Houston Federation of Teachers says they would like to do in-person learning. They believe that is the best course, but not right now. They say it's just not feasible with the spike of cases that we've had. They say there should be no question that HISD must begin the school year only with virtual learning. The failure to contain the virus should not land on teachers' shoulders. Today, a coalition of parents, school bus drivers. That's suicide. It's, it's just setting our drivers and our kids up for a disaster. And the Houston Federation of Teachers came together to tell HISD in-person learning cannot happen right now. If opening schools is about freeing parents to go to work, um, it is risking the lives the health and safety of everybody who has to walk into those school buildings. The teachers union says HISD should begin the school year with virtual instruction and only reopen for in-person learning when there is a 14 consecutive day decline in new COVID-19 cases in the Houston area, a positive test rate less than 5% and a transmission rate of less than 1%. Opening before those conditions are met is too risky, the union says, and will likely lead to teacher shortages. And if teachers take sick days, if teachers re resign suddenly without without permission and just don't show up for work. Yes, there will be teacher shortages and I would anticipate that they're going to be worse than in previous years. And HFT says they understand the extreme challenges that virtual learning creates for families. They saw it in this past spring. They say HIS, HISD needs to step up and increase technology availability and tutors for students, especially for those in the most vulnerable of communities here. I did reach out to HISD for a comment on the teachers union's plans, or at least the recommendations for plans. They did not have a comment. They will release their plans on Wednesday. Reporting live from HISD headquarters, Sion Rhodes, KPRC, Channel 2 News.